Next news is out of Brazil. Um, Bishop says that girls should skip college. They're not smarter than their husbands. Um, Edir Macedio became a Brazilian millionaire when he invented a church in 1977, the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. Um, and he received so many, so much tithing um, from that church that he actually became a billionaire in Brazil. He told his daughters, and mind you, this family has come from so many different scandals that include child tra trafficking, money laundering, um, theft. I mean, just, just terrible things, this billionaire. Uh, so he, he tells his daughters that they shouldn't go to college because they'll be smarter than their husbands, and men won't like that. Um, he said so, in his speech... So, wait, so uh -huh. he's, a, he's a billionaire himself, and he's like mm -hmm. a huge bishop in Brazil, right? And mm -hmm. he he's openly saying, I want my daughters to be stupid so men like my daughter. Is that what he's yes. saying? Wow. Yes. Does he hear himself? Like, I don't think he hears. I mean, and this is what happens when people become rich and powerful, right? It no. doesn't matter what they say. Wait, no, actually, most people that become rich and powerful, they would say, like, I want the best for my kids. I want my kids to go to the best colleges, the best universities. I want them to be smart. I want them to dominate the entire planet. I want them to have everything. Most people that get rich, they don't say, like, yeah, I want my daughters to be dumb and stupid so that men like my daughter. Most people, most rich people don't say stuff like this. I mean, well, I, unless he's got a motive for it, right? right? So if he wants his daughters to be dumb and stupid, so men like them, maybe he wants all women to be dumb and stupid, so they'll be stupid enough to like him. I don't know. He's got a motive for saying it, right? Um, right. One way or another, he's got a motive for saying it. It doesn't matter how crazy it is what he's saying. He feels he has every right to say it, and everyone should listen to him because he's rich and powerful. Yeah, of course he has a right to say it. I mean, I don't ag disagree with that. <laughs> No, you, you know what I mean? I don't mean right, right. right. And obviously, he has a right to say anything he wants, but right. um, he's he's in the right to say it. How about that? Right. Um, yeah, okay, but he, is it, like, where does this idea come from? I hear this all the time. Like, men are not, men don't like women that are smarter or more whatever, and more this than them, more that than them. They have more, make more money than them. Is that even true? Or is that there was a study that was done a couple years ago um, that said men don't like smart women or women who are powerful. Uh, they they prefer somebody with a lower IQ than them. Is that tr so? That's that study confirms that. Uh, that one study did. I mean, technically, mm. you can find a study to conclude anything you want, but um, it, it did seem to be a, a legit as far as scientific study goes. Hmm. Um, Mm. Interesting. This is this way the Taliban. This this man has a lot in common with the Taliban, other than the killing part, because the Taliban also doesn't want. I mean, there is it, it is true that if mo women are educated and smarter, uh, they will probably fight for their rights more, right? And this is why Taliban completely understands why women shouldn't be educated if you want to make sure that you could tr uh, treat them like you know products that you buy and sell and you trade you know you can't do that if they're educated right because all of a sudden they are uh, they're independent you know women need if you want to control women they need to require men to support them right that's uh, if they're educated then they don't require men to support them and they, it bec they become very difficult to manage right but yeah but again if, if one thing that I'm hoping that happens is that in, in the near future is that knowledge and education becomes democratized so that everybody could just, anybody with an access to internet could just educate themselves like uh, so that you don't need colleges and universities and stuff like that unless it's like medical stuff or engineering related stuff. Like I think in the future, like if you just have access to internet, you could just be able to like just go teach yourself like video editing skills or copywriting skills, and you could just sell your services on online and just make money that way, and then that way nobody could control your access to information. So I'm hoping that happens. I mean, already we're already there. I just hope that becomes more popular at some point, and that that would reduce the cost of education by so much. Uh, Connie is saying, I say keep building intelligence and skip the husband. 
Uh, well, why not both? You can have a husband and be intelligent. Um, Trip um, Shirley is a little bit. The comment is a bit long. All right, Chipam, did you have any comment on this? No, this is this is just a damn guy saying stuff. I, I've seen many people saying this stuff here in India. Like many people say, girls shouldn't study much. They shouldn't study after high school. Many things like that. So it's pretty common for me to hear this stuff. Okay, and is this guy a big deal in Brazil? He seems to be like a big, powerful bishop, right? That's why this is yeah. good news. Okay. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. ضمت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي podcast باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.